So we got a small recess that needs to be done at the start of the tunnel. Uh, it's very little, um, maybe maybe about a 20 more recess, reinforced plate. Um, that then ends about there. Cut part of that bracing away. Um, this area over here, you just need to just knock it up a little bit. The um, metal's quite soft. Uh, then you get to the center. Um, you gotta cut a hole. My previous prop used to sit dead center. Um, now because of the DSG box, we're moving slightly over to line up with the box. So I just had to recess that out more to the left um, for the center bearing carrier. And then, and then we move to the handbrake area. That's where you got to do some cutting and um, lift up the, the tunnel a bit there and reposition your handbrake um, cables a little bit higher up. Um, you'll see how much how much is needed. Uh, it's, from this point, it's about 80 millimeters and about 80 millimeters um, wide as well. Um, and that's basically got to, that line's got to follow all the way through up to the center bearing. Um, like I said, just you have to reposition your handbrake cables um, to the new position and then adjust your handbrake inside as well um, and then as far as the the rear goes basically you got to cut out this hump that sits um, just where the uh, spare wheel used to end you got to then cut out this whole hump and then reinforce it entirely with some sheet metal um, that's basically the only, that's the only trimming of the sashi that's needed. That's the only trimming of the sashi that's needed for this um, swap. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to be putting some extra reinforcement um, legs which will which will basically run from that leg to that leg there I'm gonna be doing that on about three maybe two spots one in front the start of the tunnel and then one on the rear where we've gone quite high just to add some some stiffening <coughs> 